class welcome previously lesson five from three we have done from question six seven eight of calculating empirical formula in lesson six we are having question nine ten and eleven so in question nine we are told hydrated sodium sulfide written na2s dot n h2o which is n of water of crystallization contains 67.5 percent by mass of water determine its formula and the value of n in the formula of hydrated sodium sulfide okay so just like the way we have done we are supposed to write first of all our our components or, or our elements so here we are not writing elements we are writing compounds so here we are having compounds so the first compound that we have is sodium sulfide so here we are going to write only the symbol of the compound NaS, then the other one is water. Okay, then next we have already written their symbol, we go directly to their percentage composition. Because they have not given us mass, they have given us percentage composition by mass. So the percentage composition by mass for water is 67.5, uh, so here is 67.5 percent, so the side of uh, sodium sulfide will be 100 minus 67.5 that will be 32.5 so it will be 32.5 next let's go and get the molar mass we have to start with the molar mass or the relative formula mass yeah for sodium it will be 23 times 2 plus 32 for sulfur this will be 78 the side for water, it will be 1 times 2 plus 16. This will be 18. That will be the molar mass. Next, we are supposed to get by moles. Moles of this uh, hydrated, I mean anhydrous sodium sulfide will be mass or percentage, which is 32.5 divided by 78. Here, I'm going to get 0 0.417. The side here, we are having 67.5 divided by 18. Here, we are going to get... 3.75 okay next we are going to go and get mole ratio we are going to go for mole ratio so this two this is the one that's having the least moles so 0 0.417 divided by 0 0.417 this will be one then here we are having 3.75 divided by 0 0.417 this one we are going to get nine so next we are supposed to get the empirical formula empirical formula so the empirical formula will be n a 2 s then we're having dot if you can see from there then we are supposed to have 9 h 2 o this will be the empirical formula so we are told hence calculate the formula or uh, the value of n Okay, if I'm having N2S.9H2O, then that means N will be equal to 9. The value of N will be 9. Okay, number 10, let's go to number 10. We are told if the mass of water of crystallization of magnesium sulfate is 51.2%. So this one and the one we have done now are just one and the same. We are going to go to the symbol of our components or our compounds. Components. Okay, the components one it's magnesium sulfate to write the chemical symbol it will be like that then the other one is water okay let's go and get the percentage composition by mass composition so the percentage composition of water here is 51.2 percent so what about magnesium sulfate anhydrous magnesium sulfate so 51.2 here we are going to get 48.8 percent so there let's go and get the RFM or the molar mass that's the relative formula mass for magnesium sulfate it will be mg for 24 plus 32 plus 16 times 4 here we are going to get the the molar mass let me just calculate so it will be 24 plus 32 plus 64 120 so the side of water it will be 2 times 1 1 times 2 plus 16, this is 18. Then thereafter, we are going to go for moles. The moles will be 
48.8 divided by 120. So here we are going to get 0 0.407. Decide for water, it will be 51.2 divided by 18. We are going to get 2.844 moles. So next, we are supposed to go get mole ratio. Mole ratio will be, this, two, this one is the one that's having the least moles. It will be 0 0.404. 7 divided by 0 0.407 that's one yeah i'm having 2.844 divided by 0 0.407 here i'm going to get 6.99 but i'm supposed to round it to seven okay from here i'm supposed to write the empirical formula empirical formula the empirical formula will be now magnesium sulfate dot seven if I check from here, the formula of that compound, dot seven of water. So to get the value of n, check here, seven of water, that means n is seven, the value of n is seven. Then we are going to go to question number 11. Uh, question number 11, the question is, a substance contains 25.6% copper, 12.8% uh, sulfur, 25.6% oxygen and at 6% water of crystallization. Work out the empirical formula. So here we are going to have, first of all, our components again. Components. One of our components is copper. Let's write the chemical symbol alone, copper. The other one is sulfur. Then the other one here is oxygen. Then we have water of crystallization. We are going to write water there. Okay, we have the symbol ready. We go for percentage composition percentage composition the one for copper is 25.6 the one for oxygen is 12.8 the i mean the one for sulfur sorry is 12.8 the one for oxygen is 25.6 and the one for water of crystallization is that six percent so that six here the next let's go and get the molar mass the relative atomic mass or the molar mass or the relative formula mass whichever so copper is 64 as you can see from the table sulfur is 32 oxygen is 16 and water is 18 because i have two of hydrogen two times one by 16 that's 18 okay next i go get moles moles is given by percentage over molar mass or mass mass of a molar mass that's 25.6 over 64 here i'm going to get 0 0.4 okay so here 12.8 divided by 32 i still get 0 0.4 here 25.6 divided by 16 we are going to get 0 0.4 uh, 1.6 sorry we are going to get 1.6 then here 36 divided by 18 we get 2.0 okay next we are going to go and get the mole ratio mole ratio okay here the one with the smallest value or the smallest moles will be 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.4 i get 1 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.4 i get 1 1.6 divided by 0 0.4 here i'm going to get 4 then uh, 2.0 over 0 0.4 i'm going to get 5 there so next we are going to go and see the empirical formula empirical formula so here i'm having c u we don't write one then s we don't write one then O, 4, then dot, because after this we are having water, of crystallization, but in the side of water we have 5, so we are having 5 of water of crystallization. So this is the empirical formula for that hydrated cobalt 2 sulfate. That is cobalt 2 sulfate pentahydrate. That's the end.